and my security was there. Let's say, I think we had a show somewhere before. Uh, I don't know where it was. Texas, Texas. It was a, it was a setup. It was a setup. It really wasn't a setup though, but it was a setup. Cause uh, you know, guns are legal in Texas. Oh yeah, everyone got a gun. So boom, bro. Somebody booked me for a, a school homecoming. I ain't gonna put it out there cause I don't want nobody to get in trouble. But somebody booked me for a school homecoming. I show up to the school during the pet rally, thinking that's the show, but that's not even the show. There's the, the show not even on campus. The show is an hour away from the campus. Hour away? In the woods. <laughs> Black, you laughing. <laughs> Bro, Black, it wasn't a cop out there. I swear to God, it wasn't a cop out there. It wasn't one police car out there. It was in the woods. And it was in the woods under a tent. <laughs> It was under a tent with probably how many people, bro? Probably a thousand people. Boy, I ain't never seen so many pistols. Never seen so many pistols. Everyone had a pistol on them. What? Well, that's my type show. <laughs> that's my type show, you feel me? Like, when I found out it was even like that, like, somebody had came to my spinner like center. It's, oh my God, so many guns out here. Were they like shooting shit off in the air? No, 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 no. Texas, that's one thing I can say about Texas. They love me, and I love Texas. Like, I appreciate them for not even... That shit not going wrong at night, cause that shit could have been bad. But like, that's also what you sign up for being a rapper. Like I was just saying, everybody want to be around that rapper till he in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. That's when you. That's what an artist do. I think that's how you pick on. Like that's who you choose. This who need to be with me all the time. You feel me? Cause if they still here, that mean they with you. With whether niggas want to kill you or not, whether the world love you or not, whether you right or whether you wrong. You feel me? So. But, yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. There was so many pistols out there. Like, somebody, like I say, somebody ran up to my sprinter. I'm on the sprinter. You feel me? Pre-game. Turn up. Do my thing. Me and Bravo, my cameraman. You feel me? Yeah. Somebody coming to my sprinter like, stunner. There's too many pistols out here, bro. You leaving. And, and like I just said, bro, like, I should not even been got booked for that show. So, so did you perform or no? Yeah, I performed. What you talking okay. about? Like, I'm stunner. <laughs> Ain't no, look, you feel me? Like, if, even if I was not, like, even if I was scared and, like, you feel me? Let's say I was scared. Boom. Let's say that shit shook me up or something. I could have said, the, the next thing I would have done was call Baby or my manager. Because, uh, you feel me? Like, that's who, like, you feel me? They didn't book the show, but, like, shit, if I leave this show, it's going to fall on the business name. Mm -hmm. If I would have called Baby and said, Baby, bro, somebody just said his guns out here. He was going to say, and? <laughs> Nigga, do you got yours? You feel me? Like, so you feel me? Like, but it wasn't no, when somebody came up and told me, I'm like, okay, let's go before him. I hopped out the Sprinter. I'm not saying this like, and no, don't, you feel me? I'm just letting you know, like, I don't do this shit on my Instagram, though, to feel me? Like, and I'm not doing this for cool points. I'm just letting you know. It, it, I turn, it turned me up when I, like, you feel me, get this flame, what really go on. But, um, like I said, yeah, I hopped out the Sprinter. Um, like I just told you, Vlad, we was in the woods, so I hopped off the Sprinter with niggas at my Sprinter looking like deers. Like, <laughs> Stop, can I take a picture? Can I take a picture? Niggas taking pictures with their 30s hanging out. <laughs> Feel me? I'm like, yeah, boy. Man, shout out to Texas. Hey, shout out to Texas. Shout out to Texas. Shout out to Texas, boy, because look, that, that, that could have been a bad situation, but also me seeing it just showed me, bro, it's like, bro, that's what I attract, bro. Like, you feel me? Everybody that was out there loved Stunner music, bro. Like, they loved Stunner music. It wasn't nobody out there to harm Stunner. Like, when the party got shut down, like, I performed three songs. On the third song, niggas got to fight. Oh. Like, niggas got to fight and bad. Like, it got cleared out. Like, somebody was finna shoot, you feel me? And when, when that happened, I stood on stage. Because, feel me, I'm looking. Like, only thing I know is shit, if we get to running, like, if you get to run, and I feel like in that situation, and also with a, one one of my OGs and always told me like, move militant and just be feeling like, you feel me? You know what you gonna do if that pressure come on? You feel me? So you could be out there running around just how all them everybody else is running. Somebody get to hit and then you get hit on accident. You feel me? Like anything, whatever. So I'm standing on stage looking for the static and I'm seeing what's going on. Like I'm seeing the guy get trashed out or whatever and all that. But whole time. Like I say, my my brother, 
who was just my security. He got me, like he around me, you feel me? It's like, and I'm thinking in my head, I'm talking to this nigga like, bitch, you think you about to stop a bullet, nigga? Like what the fuck? <laughs> nigga, the shit gonna hit, you feel me? Real shit though, like this is real, and this is a real life situation though, bro. Shout out to them, them NBA niggas. Like, I don't know if you know them, Ben 10, OG 3-3. And then a couple more, like they NBA young boys bros, but they was with me at that show. They was around me, like my security was, you feel me? It's like they, like everybody get around Stunner. That's what I, everybody was saying. That's what my security was saying, my assistant, my bros in the NBA, like y'all get around Stunner until this shit clear out. And when that shit happened, bro, they were like on that whole, on the hour, on the way back, that whole, cause it, like I say, it was an hour out of the way. And on the way back, bro, I was just thinking, like, oh my God, bro. Like, that shit could it could have just went down. Like oh, yeah. beating up someone who's got a gun on him? They nah, nah, the nigga who got beat up, I don't even think he had no gun. Yeah, but everyone around him had guns, probably. Bro, I threw the nigga a babe head, man, bro. They beat that nigga up by the head. Uh, yeah, that's what it was, but I was actually mad, bro. They beat that nigga up because I took off my babe head, man, plucked it in the crowd. He caught, like, he, he, nigga must play wide receiver, you feel me? Like, he caught it over them niggas. Came down, somebody tried to take it and he did that. Oh, that's what the fight was over. Me? Yeah, bro, they beat that nigga up because they wanted my babe head, man. It was like four niggas, bro. So it's kind of your fault. I don't even in know a weird yet. sort of way. Like. But, and I hate it, bro. My bad, bro, to who took that be yeah. beating. To the niggas who did it, y'all right. niggas lame. 